Amos Yi is going to prison again. If you don't know, Amos Yi was famous because he went on the internet and he said, having sex with ch with not just children, but like toddlers should be accepted. Uh, he was Singaporean, he was in the United States, and it was so like blunt and stupid. Everyone thought this guy has to be a uh, like a troll. And then he was like kicked out of where he was living by his landlord. And then surprise, surprise, I think a couple years later, he was arrested on possession of child pornography. And Amos Yee is by far the best example anyone can possibly give that anyone who comes out and starts defending uh, pedophilia and talking about child sex uh, is not trolling. There is no such thing as a troll that pretends to be a pedophile. They're just pedophiles. Um, so he went to jail for possession and got out on probation. And then in his infinite wisdom... I guess continuing the shtick, he goes out on the internet. This image really, okay, there. and says uh, on November 5th, actually, so really recently, six impressive things I want to do. And this is by Amos Yee. He says, number one, create a popular website without using any social media. Website becomes popular purely from people sharing it. Wow, that's a hard task. Number two, make defending pedophiles popular. I mean, th maybe he's the unmoved mover. Now we have an explanation for Juju the cow and the fat retard pedophile and the uh, and the alcoholic. Who, by the way, when I say the alcoholic, a lot of people th for, who were retarded thought I was talking about Sean, as in like uh, the the audio engineer. No, ob obviously not. Uh, three, make illegal public protests in Singapore popular. Um, okay, that's a good one, I guess. Number four, create excellent spiritual discussion groups internationally. Five, pr provide free education plus mental health services to lower middle E class. And six, help millions of people escape wage slavery and allow them to work where they truly love. That's a weird task list. Um, anyways. Across his blog post for, for longer because these articles come from like uh, October 23rd and earlier um, He made more posts like defending his stance and all saying all sorts of stupid retarded shit and how he intends to return to Singapore and leave the country Well, that doesn't work out when you're on probation uh, Here's an example of that um, Well, actually he was arrested Oh, is he? Oh, no, he's in the USA so he says, let me share this gem he wrote in a blog post after his first release. Uh, he says, but in summary, I believe there's enough real life and scientific evidence showing that most sexual relationships between children and adults have consensual and beneficial to both sides. You should definitely imprison adults who sexually force themselves on the children, but if the act isn't forceful, there's nothing wrong. You, should try you shouldn't say a relationship was an act of manipulation or rape just because a child was involved. You need actual evidence of force and harm for the act to be immoral. So imprisoning me for my relationship with this 14-year-old who I never manipulated. I thought he was arrested for child pornography. He was arrested for having sex with a 14-year-old. I didn't know that. Who willingly masturbated to those nude pictures and encouraged me to continue sending. Also, the fact I spent three years in j prison and my supposed 14-year-old victim was literally gloating online about how she got me sent to prison. I think people should reconsider who the real victim is. It's weird how they always feel victimized, too. Like they they never they never have like a a realization that they're gross. Uh, for, fortunately, though, I'm not like most people, and frankly, if I develop another close relationship to someone underage that I'm sexually attracted to, I'll break the law again. <laughs> That's a really bold statement to make on probation. I wonder how that turns out. And do something sexual with that kid. I'm not just saying this. You know, from my history in Singapore, deliberately speaking out against the government and getting arrested, I consider it an honor to break unjust laws. Literally months before this, I was released from pri prison. I was interviewed and told every police and parole officer that I don't think I should have been arrested. They defend pedophiles. I support an ambulance, yet they still let me out of prison, which they should have just because I was innocent, but in terms of enforcing the law and keeping children safe, it just doesn't make sense. So he pointed out that he was paroled incorrectly, that he should have been forced to serve his entire full sentence. He intends to offend again, and he just doesn't give a shit. In fact, he considers it a badge of honor. Um, so it should be no surprise that he... Oh, what about the same thing twice? It should be no surprise that he was arrested again. Singaporean Amos Yee is taken into custody in the United States again a month after he was released. So he's only out for a month and only uh, on parole for he's on parole for a month before, before they took him back in. 
Uh, he, the message was held at the Stateville Correctional Center, a maximum security prison in Crest Hill, Illinois. Um, released on parole on October 7th, and then literally within a month, he was back in. I did not reveal the conditions of the parole. He was registered as a sex offender. Um, I'm not sure where... Uh, what the, the plea deal was. I guess they didn't say. And he was granted asylum. These are the people that were granting asylum. We're, we're letting in all these heck and wholesome LGBT cures who are oppressed by their foreign governments into the United States so that they can practice their proud tradition of love in the United States. Thank you, Department of Homeland Security. I feel very secure. I feel very secure. I feel like the United States is in good hands. The Department of Homeland Security has this shit really figured out. They know what they're doing. It doesn't say how long his initial sentence was. So, I don't know. I guess it's a good thing that they arrested him again, because what the fuck? Oh, his, oh there, there's his sentence. So, it was sentenced for five years for grooming... And it was back for, it was a original sentence on October 8th in 2020. So he'll be out in two more years, I guess. He's getting that hunch though. Maybe he should, um, shroon out. He's already got the hunch going. If he shroons out, then nobody can dead name him as that pedophile, Amoshi. Yeah, I mean, it's Illinois. They're going to they're gonna try that rehabilitative therapy on him. They're going to show him flashcards of children and adults, and they're going to say, like, which one can you have sex with, A or B? That's how, that's how they're going to do it. They're going to fix him. They're like a mechanic diligently toiling in that, that head of his to try and crack the code and make him a productive member of society. He got raped in prison? What? Where, where did you read that? Sugar Ape, explain yourself. Where did you read this? Okay, hold up. Let me see if I can find them. You know, you would think that if you were raped in prison and had gotten out early from prison, that you would not immediately break the terms of your parole and go back to where you were raped. It's Mutt's Law. If I search rape in this thread, I get a lot of Mutt's Law. Um, good luck surviving prison rape. Mandated rape for people like him. Interracial rape fantasies. I want him cross-dressing on top of everything else. XD, get raped. Um... If you want to make prison rape jokes, you should make it fresh. No, nobody actually got raped. This is this is a meme. This is a meme. Nice try. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.